the practical application of springs. Springs are available in a large variety of shapes and sizes. Almost everyone will have used a springboard at a swimming pool to dive into the water. The springboard may be made from laminated wood, layers of wood glued together or be a more modern glass fiber type material. The result is the same, the diver uses his or her weight to spring off the board into the air. Springs have a very wide range of uses and it is difficult to think of a mechanical device without one or more of them. Springs perform different actions and some will be seen in a moment. Some restrict stretching whilst others restrict compression. This spring is resisting stretching. When the two people pull the spring towards themselves, it offers resistance working in the opposite direction. These springs were designed to react in different ways. The spring on the left resists compression, whilst the spring on the right resists twisting. Both of these springs have important practical applications. These are the main types of spring. The animations show a compression spring, an extension spring and a torsion spring. Notice how they work or react in different ways to a force. Consider using the internet to research each type of spring. You could describe and sketch a practical application of each one. You are about to see two examples of the way springs are used to store energy. These are real-world, practical applications. Example number one, a wind-up watch. When winding up a coiled watch spring, spiral torsion spring, the energy is stored and slowly released, providing power to the watch mechanism. This is basically the same mechanism that provides power to wind-up radios, timers and some torches. Spring steel is often used to manufacture the spiral torsion spring. When in tension, the watch spring slowly releases its energy. The gear wheel on the outer rim turns and meshes with other minute gears, accurately turning the watch hands. Example number two, a commercial spring-powered energy storage system. This is a system to store electricity. The system is on a large scale, but is not dissimilar to the coiled spring in a watch. When excess electricity is available, it is used to force fluid into the high-pressure storage unit which expands to full capacity. The animation shows the system as fluid is being forced into the pressurized storage unit. The stored pressure can be released when electricity is needed. For example, when there is a power cut or an interruption in the supply of electricity. The system can be regarded as a backup power system or an emergency backup system. At full storage capacity, the fluid fully compresses the springs, storing large amounts of energy. The fluid inlet is then shut, leaving the storage tank fully charged with fluid pressure. The valve allowing fluid to exit the storage until is opened. Pressurized fluid is allowed out of the tank at a controlled rate. It flows through the power generator, which is a type of turbine, generating electricity. For more information and worksheets on springs and energy systems, go to the environmental section of technologystudent.com. You can download the worksheets from www.technologystudent.com and duplicate them for classes. However, images, animations and text cannot be placed in any other media, including PowerPoints, websites, intranets or any other form of storage or distribution. Students can use images and text in their projects, but must make full reference to the source. Please respect the copyright.